To keep up with Goku, you have a finite amount of options. There is no room for fear. Goha! You have to push yourself. Because I promise you, he is. Alright, starting off the Piccolo build, I'm here inside of Corrin's Tower, just below Kami's Lookout. And uh, we're going to begin here. I'm going to go over his uh, his enhanced abilities, his flight, uh, which is up here. And then we'll go over his Masenko attack, his key blasts, and his special beam cannon. Alright, so just like always, we're going to look at Piccolo's enhanced abilities. So I have a repeating, unconditional, always active command block here. It's going to be slash effect at A, tag equals Piccolo, strength, one, two, true. So that's going to be his increased strength. Chain, unconditional, always active. We're doing slash effect at A, tag equals Piccolo, speed, one, two, true. And then here, chain, unconditional, always active. Slash effect at A, tag equals Piccolo, resistance, one, two, true. And then this one here, chain unconditional, always active. Slash effect at A, tag equals Piccolo, regeneration, one, four, true. You'll see he's got quite the regeneration going on. That's because as a Namekian, he can regrow limbs and uh, regenerate large portions of his body that take damage. So I felt like he should have the highest regeneration rate. And then here, chain unconditional, always active. Slash effect at A, tag equals Piccolo. Jump boost, one, two, true. All right, so that is going to be the enhanced abilities. Now we're gonna pop up real quick and go over flight. So you'll see I have a repeating command block. Uh, it's repeating, unconditional, always active, just slash test for at A, tag equals Piccolo. So as soon as somebody gives themselves the Piccolo tag and Piccolo spawns in, uh, you have a comparator here, which converts the command block into a redstone current and it powers this sticky piston with a redstone block. So it'll push out, and it'll power this impulse, unconditional, needs redstone command block, slash ability at A, tag equals piccolo, may fly true. So this gives you the ability to fly even in survival mode. All right, now we're gonna move on to the Masenko attack, uh, which is gonna be different than any of the attacks you saw in the, the Goku video. Uh, if you haven't seen the Goku video, at the end of this one, I will link you to that. Uh, but we're going to start off here. I have a repeating, unconditional, always active command block. Slash replace item entity at A, tag equals piccolo, slot dot hotbar 7, keep blaze powder 1. So you'll see that right here I have blaze powder. That is from this command block here. And then this one, repeating, unconditional, always active. Slash execute as at a tag equals piccolo at at s if entity at e name equals blaze powder ugh, can't talk r equals three. So we're executing as piccolo and at piccolo's location and we're checking to see if there's any blaze powder within a radius of three. That's going to happen if I were to drop the blaze powder I'm holding. If I do, it's going to run summon. It's going to summon it an armor stand named Masenko at carrot, 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 negative 0.5. So it's gonna be just slightly behind my person. That way I don't actually see the armor stand pop up on my screen when I'm using the ability. Attached to that, chain, conditional, always active, slash execute at, at A, tag equals piccolo, run kill, at E, name equals blaze powder, R equals three. So if I drop the blaze powder, the replace item command is just going to put it back in my inventory. It's going to summon in the armor stand, and then it's going to erase, it's going to kill the blaze powder item that I just dropped. Moving on, I have another repeating command block that's unconditional, always active. Slash execute at, at E, name equals Masenko, run particle, Minecraft, mob, flame, underscore, single, carrot, carrot, one, carrot. So at the armor stand that I summoned in, named Masenko, um, I'm going to summon in a fire particle. And then here, chain unconditional, always active, slash effect, at E, name equals Masenko, haste, one, one, false. So again, at the armor stand that I summoned in and named Masenko, uh, this time I'm going to give it the haste effect, and I'm going to have it set to false, which gives it yellow particles coming off of it. 
Uh, the Misenko Blast is yellow, but there's not a lot of yellow uh, particles in Minecraft, so I'm using fire and yellow particles from the haste. Now we're going to come up here to the middle section. Repeating, unconditional, always active. And that is slash execute at, at E, tag equals boom, RM equals 50, run fill. Now we don't have anything that's tagging boom yet, but don't worry, we will get to that. Um, and you'll see that the RM50 means that this can't happen close to Corrin's tower. Uh, essentially, I'm putting in some small safeguards so that you don't blow up the command blocks that you're building. Because one of the complaints that I get is, hey, you know, I built it and then I used the command wave on the command blocks and destroyed the command blocks and now it's not working, how do I fix it? And then the answer is, well, you have to rebuild it again. So, uh, don't do that. Uh, and also include commands like this so that now this will not destroy anything within 50 blocks of here. So anyway, fill, tilde, negative 3, tilde, negative 3, tilde, negative 3, tilde, 3, tilde, 3, tilde, 3, fire, destroy. So whenever an entity gets the tag boom, um, all of a sudden it's going to replace all the blocks around it with fire. And then here, chain conditional always active slash execute at at e tag equals boom so again at that same one run particle minecraft huge explosion lab miscellaneous emitter uh tilde 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 so uh when the and it's going to be the armor stand named misenko that gets this tag when it gets tagged boom it's going to destroy all the blocks around it replace it with fire and it's going to play a big explosion particle the next one chain conditional always active very similar, execute at, at E, tag equals boom, run play sound. It's going to play the sound random.explode. Any players within a radius of 30 blocks uh, from the location, the relative location, that's the tildes are, are going to hear this. Alright, um, so if you're within 30 blocks of the explosion, you'll see it, you'll hear it. This last one here, chain conditional, always active. Slash execute at at e tag equals boom run damage at e tag equals exclamation point piccolo so not piccolo r equals five so any entity within five blocks of the Masenko armor stand when it gets tagged boom are going to take twenty damage it's going to be considered an entity attack and all the entities that take that damage are going to know that piccolo was the one that did it if they survive. Now if we look up here, this is going to be how we actually tag um, anybody with the boom tag. So here I have a repeating, unconditional, always active command block. Slash execute as at E name equals Masenko at at S. Rotate it as at A tag equals Piccolo. So we're executing as the armor stands named Masenko at its location. But it's always going to be rotated the same as you. So it's going to face the same direction that you're facing. Run TP at S, carrot, carrot, carrot 2, facing carrot, carrot, carrot 5, true. So it's going to be facing the same direction as you, teleporting forward, facing forward. So this is going to shoot forward in the direction um, that you're facing, but you'll notice that it says true. This means that it will not travel through blocks. Like the Kamea Wave on Goku build, it'll tunnel through blocks. This one, when it hits, um... When it hits, we're actually going to, as you'll see, we are powering a comparator when this is running. It's got a sticky piston and a redstone block. So when you shoot this beam, the redstone block extends out. When the beam hits and it can no longer teleport, the redstone block retracts in and it powers this command block. Impulse, unconditional, needs redstone. Slash tag, at E, name equals Masenko, add boom. So only when the armor stand cannot teleport forward anymore will it be tagged boom. Now chains to that, uh, this command block here with the teleport is a chain, unconditional, always active, slash effect at E, name equals Masenko, invisibility, 10, 1, true. Uh, this means that the Masenko armor stand that you summon in is invisible. You'll only see the yellow particles and the fire. And then when you shoot it forward, it'll fly until it hits something, and then will explode. Now here, repeating, unconditional, always active, slash execute at, at A, tag equals piccolo, run kill. 
at E name equals Masenko RM60. So essentially, if Masenko gets more than 60 blocks away from Piccolo, it's just going to kill the armor stand. Just like any of the other attacks, I don't want these flying around. Because they're all named and tagged, um, they're still going to engage with the command, so you only want one at a time. This is just in case you miss and it flies too far away. Now chains to that. Chain unconditional, always active. Slash execute at, at E, name equals Masenko. Run play sound. Mob.warden.sonic underscore charge at A, R equals 30, tilde, 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 111. So basically, when you use the Masenko attack, uh, it's going to make a sound, uh, like, a, like a big roaring sound. That's the actual sound from the energy beam. This will stop when it hits and explodes and creates the big fire crater. All right, next up we have the Key Blast, which is quite simple. It's only three blocks. The first one here, repeating, unconditional, always active. Slash replace item entity at A tag equals piccolo slot that hot bar six keep snowball one. So that's gonna give me the snowball that you see here. And then I have a repeating unconditional always active command block slash execute at at A tag equals piccolo run tag at E type equals snowball R equals two add energy. So when I use the snowball when I throw it, it's going to be spawned in within two blocks of me. It'll then be tagged with energy. And then, chain unconditional always active, slash execute at, at E, type equals snowball, tag equals energy, run damage. So at the snowball, once it's tagged, we're going to run the damage command. Any entity, at E, type equals exclamation point snowball, tag equals exclamation point piccolo, R equals 2. So any entity that's not the snowball itself, or you, the one who's throwing it, uh, that gets within two blocks of it, will then be damaged to it's going to be an entity attack, and the entity doing the damage will be Piccolo. So if you hit somebody with your Key Blast, they're going to know it's you, and these snowballs will actually cause damage. And then finally, Piccolo's strongest move, the Special Beam Cannon. I have a repeating, unconditional, always active command block starting us off. Replace item entity at A tag equals Piccolo, slot dot hot bar 8, keep Magma Cream 1. And you'll see I have magma cream here at the end of my hotbar. I chose the colors on this because it's like the closest to the special beam cannon. And then I have another repeating unconditional always active command lock. Slash execute as at a tag equals piccolo at at s if entity at e name equals in quotations magma cream. Make sure you do that with the quotations and a space between those because we're looking for the item's name. With the quotations, I'm making it look for the exact name that shows up on your hotbar. And then comma R equals 3. So we're executing as Piccolo at Piccolo's location, and we're checking for a magma cream within three blocks. So basically, this is how we are detecting if we drop the magma cream. Then we're going to run summon, and we're going to summon in an armor stand named Beam. We're going to summon that Beam in at carrot, carrot, 0.35, carrot, negative 0.5. So it's going to be slightly behind you, so you don't see it on the screen, and it's going to be slightly raised up. That's just to make sure that the position of the beam is better. And then I have a chain conditional always active command block. Slash execute at at A, tag equals piccolo, run kill. At E, name equals magma cream, R equals 3. So when you drop the magma cream, it's going to summon in the armor stand named beam, and then it's going to get rid of the one that you dropped. And of course, the replace item command is just going to refill the empty slot on your hotbar. And then, repeating, unconditional, always active, slash effects at E, name equals beam, invisibility, 1-1 one, one true. So the armor stand will be invisible. And then I have chain conditional, always active, slash execute as, at E, name equals beam, at, at S, rotated as, at A, tag equals piccolo. So again, we're going to execute as the beam, which is the armor stand at the armor stand's location, and it's going to be rotated the same as you, facing the same direction as you. Then we're going to run teleport, TP, at S, which is the armor stand, carrot, 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 2, facing carrot, carrot, 0 0.01, carrot, 5. So it's going to teleport forward, and we're going to adjust the facing just a little bit so that it's slanted up slightly, and then we're going to um, have it face basically other than that just straight forward. Uh, so as this shoots forward, it's going to shoot in the direction that the camera is facing. Coming up here, I have another repeating, unconditional, always active command block. 
slash execute act at e name equals beam r m equals 50. So again, this won't work unless it's 50 blocks away from here, protecting Corrin's tower. We're going to run fill tilde negative 1, tilde, tilde negative 1, tilde 1, tilde 1, tilde 1, air replace. This is the destructive tunneling that the special beam cannon does. And this one won't leave blocks falling like the Kamea wave. This one is going to destroy anything the beam goes through. Chain, unconditional, always active. Slash execute as at E, name equals beam, at at S, run damage. So anything near the armor stands named beam is going to have uh, the damage commands ran. It's looking for at E, R equals 3. So any entity within 3 blocks name equals exclamation point beam tag equals exclamation point piccolo so not the armor stand or the guy shooting it you'll see that this one though the special beam cannon is going to do a total of 40 damage that's going to be an entity attack and the entity doing it is of course piccolo so if somebody manages to survive that they're going to know you attacked them but this one is the most powerful beam attack now up here repeating unconditional always active slash execute at at e name equals beam run particle minecraft balloon underscore gas underscore particle carrot carrot one carrot uh the special beam cannon is specifically kind of spirally looking and that's really hard to do in minecraft i actually can't rotate particles on that axis, so i have to make it look spirally so i'm going to use the gas particles which are like a glowing whitish yellowish orb and then I'm going to fill in gaps there with other particles. So, chain conditional always active. Slash execute at at e name equals beam run particle. Minecraft basic flame particle carrot carrot one carrot. So, those two alternating actually look pretty good. And then here, chain unconditional always active. I'm doing slash execute as at e name equals beam at at s run place out mob.warden.sonicboom at a r equals 30 so i'm going to do the sonic boom sound just like the kamea wave but i'm going to change it so you'll see i've got tilde 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 uh and then 100 350 so the 150 that's just about the volume but you'll notice here the three i'm going to raise the pitch up significantly higher so that it doesn't sound the same and then here repeating unconditional always active Slash execute at at a tag equals piccolo run kill at e name equals beam rm equals 90. So for this, if the beam gets more than 90 blocks away, it's just going to kill the armor stand just like the, with, the, with the Masenko blast. Uh, we don't uh, we don't want any of these things getting too far away or just flying around the world because that will affect the commands that we're running. If you haven't yet, you need to check out the Goku tutorial in this video right here. Key blasts, Kamea wave, and even the Super Saiyan transformation. This is Browncode67, I'll catch you next time.